Jess. Jess. You can give it up for this poet in the name of Jess. So think of an excuse right now. Think of an excuse. Though it has to sound good. It has to sound like water. Pat, pat, patting on hot cement at 7 o'clock in the evening. It has to sound like a green light. Flick, flick, flickering on the corner bakery sign. It has to sound like marriage. Pacing, pacing, pacing. In the darkness of a proposal, in the intimate fury of coffee stinging your lips, question, is this really what you want? After the first betrayal, what now? The way that her hand hit yours at the last goodbye. The way that those words danced across her eyes like tears uncried as for the last time you shut that door. The key, click, click, clicking away messages and forwarding new ones to new hopefuls on eHarmony. After 21 possibilities, have you finally found the right one? So think of an excuse right now. Any excuse at all that will sweep her off her feet. Something as beautiful as a rainbow or as simple as laughter. Your daughter's laughter when she was still happy. Before she grew up too young in an effortless excuse to find your depression happiness. In her own depression. Shove, shove, shoving normal life out of the way in a reckless attempt to make things right. For her, paint a rainbow of her life. Red blood, orange lighters, yellow bulbs, green weed, blue tears, indigo death, and violet violence of which you ignored. For her, paint the rainbow which symbolizes her pride and the shackles of shame against your name. For her, find an excuse. So think of an excuse right now. Any reason at all to stand up on an altar once again and reseal vows once broken with someone else, now seal them anew with someone new. Is five months a long enough time to base the rest of your life on? Five months of preparation for this moment. Are you ready? No. As your courage slips out the window, like those clouds outside that diner, fading away over the horizon, you catch a glimpse of something, a prism, and you know, you know your excuse right now, your reason for change, your desire for life. That rainbow you see is an expression of right. So live, Dad, live with her, lucky 21, and let her be your caregiver from now on. Because after all, if you do win, then maybe you'll see that the person on the other side of this mic is me, your daughter seeking out to her father to find a place in his life once again. And so to you, I say amen, hallelujah, and good riddance, because this is my rainbow, my excuse. And that was Jess. Thank you, Jess. Okay. I don't need to go through this again. One, two, three. Let's see what that poet gets. That poet gets a 9.7, a 9.2, another 9.2. Put in the back there, I got an 8.9 and an 8.5. Give it up for that poet!